all right what's going on youtube welcome back to another video um today we're gonna be talking about what is basic training like um i know when i first joined or when i was thinking about joining um this is something that was on my mind like you know you hear all these crazy stories about you know basic training or um, you have friends of friends or maybe like um, close family friends um, and they might have served and they might have told you their stories but that was 20 years ago um, so you haven't really heard or maybe you have um, heard of what it's like you know recently um, I uh, graduated basic training probably like two years ago um, I'm not much has changed I still have asked people who um, just received came to my unit from basic um, and AIT and I kind of got their experiences and they tell me the same things that I went through so um, this is going to be really up to date if you're curious or if you're thinking about joining the military um, or the army then definitely watch this video all the way to the end so you can have um, a good insight of what um, basic training will actually be like so without further ado let's get into the first step all right so the first step um, before you even make it into basic training um, you have to go to reception now reception happens anytime you go to a new unit so this will happen you know if you go to your you know your duty station um, basic training AIT this always happens it's reception um, but in reception before basic training it usually lasts about five to seven days typically a week long um, and what happens at reception is you get all your you know your uniforms your PTs um, your OCP tops um, your dress blues you get fitted for everything so you really do not pay out of pocket for anything in the beginning um, but of course over time um, if you grow out of your clothes that you were issued you can um, there's stores on post that you can go to to get a different size so um, yeah you get all your clothes um, you get your your haircut the best thing about you know reception is you get the haircut um, you also people come in you know with big a uh, lot of hair you know I had a lot of hair I believe when I first went in um, you know dreads or whatever it may be whatever hairstyle you got it will be coming off you know so everyone gets a buzz cut um, for females it's a little bit different I think you just have to maintain your hair pretty well but um, yeah you get a buzz cut and uh, the crazy part about it is um, I don't know if reception you have to pay for it but I know in basic training you pay for your buzz cuts these are not free um, you actually get an eagle cash card which is like a preloaded um, like an advancement it's like $250 I believe um, and that covers you know whatever you need to buy throughout basic training or um, pretty much anything that you do uh, as far as purchasing anything um, so that's that you get your hair cut you know your clothing um, your uniforms um, you go through medical um, so you really you get all your shots um, you get your blood taken all this stuff that they have to do your eyes um, if you need glasses you'll be prescribed glasses all of that fun stuff and um, yeah that's pretty much it it's just the basics you learn a little bit of discipline um, and stuff like that you're really just getting accustomed to the environment um, there will be drill sergeants there so um, yeah it's a pretty uh, it's a good experience to kind of set you up um, for basic training so it gets you kind of situated and whatnot so um, that's reception and let's actually talk about basic training so um, basic training is consists of three phases and it is 10 weeks long but personally it did not feel like 10 weeks it felt like a year honestly you go time goes by so slow but then um, you know when you don't think about it, it kind of just time flies you know what I mean you get used to your environment but the first phase um, is going to be the red phase. Now, the red phase happens as soon as you get to basic training. So from week one to week three, it is red phase, right? And red phase consists of, um, you know, the discipline, right? You learn the army values, um, you know, your general orders, you know, the army creed. You learn a lot of things, um, history and whatnot about the military. And, you know, um, really builds you up from the ground up. And this is with like the most disciplined phase, so there's gonna be a lot of um, getting smoked, which is you know you know doing push-ups or whatever you might the case may be. Uh, 
All right, let's talk about basic training. Now that you know what reception is, and this happens before basic, let's talk about basic training. Um, basic training contains of three main phases. Um, it's gonna be red phase, white phase, and blue phase. <clears throat> so um, let's talk about red phase because this is the first, um, you know, week one through week three. This is the phase you'll be going through. So this happens immediately. I'm talking about immediately as soon as you hop on the bus from reception because there will be a bus to pick you up you'll get all your bags get on this bus and you go straight to um, basic training and this is going to be um, as soon as you get off the bus there is going to be a shark attack uh, this is where uh, all the drill sergeants um, it's actually crazy when you're on the bus it's pitch quiet there's no talking you were just driving to basic training and um, <clears throat> the, <clears throat> the bus actually parks and um, there will be a drill sergeant on the bus and he'll tell everybody on the bus you have 30 seconds to get off the bus. Everybody's running off the bus, everyone's getting their bags, everyone's you know, um, it's a bus right and you have two big duffel bags and everyone's trying to get off the bus you know, um, rushing as fast as they can. And actually when I got off the bus, <clears throat> I, I was such in a rush that I fell. I fell straight. I'm talking like this. If I'm standing up, I feel like that. Doom. Right on uh, right onto the ground. I tripped. I actually missed a step because I was carrying my bags. Couldn't even see the steps to get off the bus. Rough time, but um so everybody's running. Um and then you get you get to know your drill sergeants. Uh you'll have like a sticker they give you and there'll be like different colors for different platoons. You'll find your platoon, um, you do the shark attack, you know, your drill sergeants get in your face and then you do like a back check and all that crazy stuff and then you get situated over the night but that's the shark attack pretty much it's a pretty crazy experience but um red face is really just like the discipline phase um a lot of smoking um not cigarette smoking or weed smoking or nothing like that but you know when you're getting smoked it's like doing push-ups or whatever um running whatever they have you doing usually push-ups but um, you learn a lot of the values, the army creed, your general orders, um, you know, the army song, you know, a lot of these traditional um, um, things that you need to know as a U.S. soldier. So um, you learn all of that, you know, the army values and all that good stuff. Um, and they really teach you, you know, discipline, right? And, you know, if one person messes up, then everybody messes up on your whole platoon, right? So it's mass punishment. So if I mess up and I have a battle buddy to the left and to the right, then they get smoked for me messing up. So, you know, it can cause a lot of tension um, amongst each other. So um, that's really what Red Phase is about. Just, you know, overall discipline and whatnot. So uh, without further ado, um, let's talk about the next phase. All right, so the next phase, this can be phase number two. Um, this is White Phase. Um, so as you progress on through basic training um, through the phases it gets um, more lenient and more lenient um, not to say it's not very disciplined but um, you start to get a build a better bond with your drill sergeants and people around you um, you start to get a little bit more freedom freedoms but they can easily be taken from you so um, do not take it for granted uh, you know, as soon as you get complacent, you know, things start to change and that's when it starts to go downhill. So, um, white phase is one of my favorite phases. Um, this is going to be, uh, you know, the more of like the um, shooting, like the M4 range. Um, you learn, you know, how to clean your weapon, all this good stuff, you know, zero, zeroing on your target, um, qualifying. Um, you throw um, grenades, a live grenade. Um, they give you a whole class and training um, before doing so. Um, you know, they start to do a lot more um, activities. Of course, there's going to be um, PT tests um, that consist of a two mile run, um, uh, push ups, and sit ups, um, two minutes as well. Uh, so that happens every phase in order for you to advance. So if you don't pass your PT test and you stay in your phase and you can actually be recycled, um, it's crazy. Um, you could complete a whole phase but fail, um, you know, their PT test and you'd have to redo the whole phase. So um, I think there's exceptions um, that you could get advanced, but um, it's really strict. So if you, you know, mess up or do something bad, you can get recycled. Um, so um, that's pretty much it. Uh, 
as far as that. And then also, sorry, I got notes right here. Um, also, another another one of my favorite things that I did in basic training um, was the Victory Tower. Uh, this is like an obstacle course that you go through. Um, you repel like a 50-foot tower. Um, you know, you walk the, this rope like over like a net, and if you fall, you land on the rope. Um, and just pretty fun stuff that you do, little obstacle courses. Um, that was personally one of my favorite and one of the most scary, uh, scariest things I've done because, you know, heights, um, you're relying on a, a cord to hold you and not fall 50 feet to the ground. So um, you build a lot of trust and you learn how to fight your fears. So that's pretty cool. And then also, I believe you do the gas chamber in white phase. Um, and this is pretty pretty fun and uh, exciting a little bit scary at first intimidating um, but you just fight through it and you get through it and that's a crazy experience all on its own um, you know experiencing that so uh, that's that that's white face it's a little bit more fun more exciting more activities um, still you know disciplined as well and you're still learning values and they're still building you up and you know you're still doing PT every day and stuff like that you just get a uh, you know a little bit more lenient more activities and it's a little bit more fun right so um, that's white phase that's gonna be weeks uh, four through six and then um, let's go on to the next phase and talk about that all right so the last and final phase is going to be blue phase and this is gonna be week six through nine and this is like ultimately the final push um, before graduation um, during this uh, phase um, you start to build a lot better relationship with your drill sergeants and you start to build um, you start to do a lot more teamwork drills um, there's a lot more things you do as well as like nick at night which is pretty crazy it's um you're like low crawling through the sand and dirt um all the way through this field like under barbed wire and um, there's like um, live um, bullets being shot over you so um, anyone who's been through basic training always knows this, um, you know, knows this event or this training and it's so crazy, like it's so exhausting because you have like your full on kit, your helmet, your weapon, you got, you know, uh, you know, the the grains of sand rubbing against your elbows and your, and your arms and it just burns and you just got to fight through it and keep going all the way to the end. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of battle buddy drills you do. Um, a lot of field exercises um, the most this is probably the most insane um, part of basic training which is the forge um, if you haven't been in basic training a while or maybe you went 10 years ago 20 years ago or you know you heard stories about basic training this is something new that they started doing um, recently I believe I'm pretty sure they've been doing it for like the last five years maybe or if not uh, less but the Forge is a three-day field event, um, and you've marched, I think I've marched, and three of those days, I probably marched over like 60 miles because um, you literally, you know, you don't get trans uh, transportation to your, uh, your where you're staying at, right? Wherever you're um, posting up site, right? You literally ruck to your site with a like 45 pound ruck on your back, um, your weapon, I think we like stepped off at like 0300, which is 3 a.m. And you march all the way to your site. I think it was like 15 miles away. Um, and you're marching like miles on miles on miles. Um, you get like brief rest periods, maybe like 10 minutes every couple miles or whatever. And it's crazy. Like you're going up hills. It's so dark. I remember just like looking at my feet and just watching step by step because I was just so exhausted. But um, that was pretty cool. I think you do a lot of training out there as well during those three days. Um, you know, what, what were you doing? Um, just a lot of like, uh, kind of like, you know, digging your foxholes and learning, you know, first aid, combo, um, combo stuff. Just a lot of different trainings that you do out there and uh, i think we even did combatives out there we did everything it was a lot right you did so much stuff um that lasted three days so you don't get to shower um none of this crazy stuff right um over these after these 60 miles after you ruck all the way to your site and then you still ruck around during the day um you actually ruck all the way back to um the barracks or the to the basic training 
um, area and that was a long that's a long rut but when you get back um, you come back like early in the morning like I think you ruck overnight or you might step off really early and you come back to basic training and um, you get a victory meal uh, so this is like a kind of like a reward to everyone it's kind of like the last straw last step before completing basic and this is where you have like insanely good food good food like I'm talking they'll have ice cream like I know that doesn't sound good but when you're basic ice cream is like a commodity you can't get that um, ice cream steak chicken shrimp noodles uh, brownies chocolate chip cookies like everything you could think of will be at this victory meal um, and it's all served by the higher enlisted like your first sergeant um, commander and um, you know people like that um, brigade commander uh, you know brigade sergeant major and all this stuff all these high-ranking people actually serve you the food which is really cool um, and they'll be like in their dress blues um, which is really awesome um, so that's really like blue phase it's kind of like the last straw and you do a lot of training events and stuff like that um, but yeah so that's blue face pretty much and um, let's talk about last but not least let's talk about the final week which is week 10 you know there is 10 weeks in basic training um, and week 10 is more of like a relaxed week I um, used to do PT and stuff like that but it's not really like that much training you're more of so you know cleaning the barracks and getting ready for the next cycle um, as far as getting your dress blues ready and you're doing a lot of um, you know a lot of training as far as uh, preparation for graduation so you'll be going to the graduation ceremony um, and doing rehearsals and stuff like that so um, and then after that you're done with basic training if you made it to basic training and you complete uh, you finished it it's one of the best feelings ever um, you know at first it's gonna suck and you just gotta embrace the suck um, you know what I mean so once you learn how to embrace the suck and just realize that you're there for 10 weeks um, then it'll start to get a lot easier if you just dread every moment and you complain and you do all of this and whining and you get in trouble it's just gonna make it a lot worse so just embrace the suck and realize once you finish it you're actually gonna look back and you're gonna be extremely proud of yourself um, with everything you did and all your accomplishments so um, just realize it's gonna end one day and embrace it while you're there because um, you'll have so many stories to tell and you'll always look back on it and you'll just be like man how did I get through that so um, thinking about joining and you're wondering what basic training is like then I hope this helps um, this is from personal experience I am in the military so it's not like I'm just making these things up um, so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe I mean the world to me um, if you're interested in military and you know fitness or whatever vlogs um, that's what I do and yeah I appreciate it a lot hope you guys like this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace